also the next part of the trip. I'm at Lewis Castle. I haven't been here since 2010 with Mandy and Alan. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. I'm gonna go all the way up there and uh, see what's happening. Some great views apparently. Yeah, William de Warren again, first Earl of Surrey. Yeah. A Russian cannon. Remember when we were here before, we had great fun getting Mandy's little toddler, who's not a toddler now, uh, up these stairs. It was really quite funny. Let's go and see some incredible views. Obviously it'll be a little bit windy up here. Brack Mount over there, yeah, Brack Mount. Oldest part of Lewis Castle, William de Warren built a Mott and Bailey Castle in the late 11th century. So when we go right up the top, it's some incredible views over the South and North Downs. Um, church in the distance, what one's that? All about the Battle of Lewis, which we covered a little bit in the video from the Priory. Ah, the fireplace from the Great Hall. Let's go in. Don't know what that beeping is, but some nice views here. Showing you where each window goes to. It's lovely. Lovely view. You might get a little bit washed out. Out into the uh, South Downs. Over there. Oh, it's really quiet now. There's some great information boards as you walk around. Interesting. Did you know that William de Warren is said to have been the second richest man in England during the last thousand years? One report says he was worth the same as £74 billion pounds in today's money. Bloody hell. arrow slip. If you duck your head you can walk into this arrow slip or loop. Oh yeah, there we go. All this remains of the medieval spiral staircase. Now it's likely to be a bit windy up here because right at the top of the uh, battlements. That's of a Quick look. Oh no, it's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Oh lovely. What commanding views over to the South Downs, Mount Cayburn and Phil Beacon. The it's called a mount, it's not really a mount, it's a big hill. But we are on the South Downs, so there's a lot of up and downs, up and downs. There are, Lewis Castle. Fascinating. I think I'm looking at the Barbican Museum. Next. Let's see what's in there.
small door lock. I don't recall coming in here last time. Yeah, it's more for little things for kids to learn about the castle. You walk up, and this chap here gave me a fright. <laughs> It's like, whoa, who are you? So yeah, Lewis Castle in the 13th century. Little model here. and look at the Barbican Museum. It looks interesting. Let's go. The darkest nights I know the sun will rise. I will trust the problems I cannot see with my eyes. Even when the clouds are so in the Barbican Museum, a layout of Lewis Town. A little short film. going right back to Neolithic times, probably Mesolithic times, really early settlement around here. Got the Roman roads, also the Stain Street, one near me. And this one goes right down to Lewis, from London to Lewis. Yeah, my one, yeah, goes down to Chichester along pits of the A29. Yeah, we're going into the Norman period, a period I'm really interested in, in the Saxon period before that. Remember Alan getting a bit of a funny, he sensed somebody a presence in this room when we were here last in 2010. Of course, the great avalanche of Lewis, which is uh, terrible, December the 27th, 1836. If you remember back to Anne of Cleves' house and my friend Mandy's stepdad's ancestors, the Verrill family, Pluma Verrill, who was one of them, I think a magistrate or something like that, quite an important figure, very kind man apparently, and he went down and helped people, pull people out of the snow and helped out with the, uh, with the rescue. He probably didn't need to, but he did. Terrible, terrible. One of the worst snow, I think that's probably the worst avalanche we've had um, in British history. And a picture of Pluma Verrill actually hangs in her mum's house, in Mandy's mum's house, in Chicago. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this little video from Lewis Castle and the Barbican here in Lewis. Love you to come back again. Really, really interesting stuff. Steeped in history, of course. Owned and managed by Sussex Past. Always good. So if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. All the normal stuff we do on the old YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.